So it seems like what I forgot to do, uh, it says here, changes to your skills invocation name will not take effect until you have built your skills interaction model. So I had saved it, but I never built it. So it was valid, but we didn't do anything with it. So it says it's building now, and uh, that's that. And that was just careful reading. <laughs> there wasn't anything, uh, I didn't actually find anything online that mentioned that. So uh, let's try it now. Alexa, ask Japanese study tool to have a conversation with me. Welcome to the 2018 Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. It's semifinals for these social bots and your ratings help determine who makes it to the finals. I'll get you a social bot now. When you're done, say stop and I'll ask you for your rating. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. I don't think we have been properly introduced. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Stop. Thanks for chatting. Quick question. On a scale from one to five stars, how do you feel about speaking with this social bot again? Stop. Got it. To try another social bot, just say, Alexa, let's chat. Alexa, enable Japanese study tool. Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, enable the Japanese study tool skill. I can't find that skill. To find skills, go to the skills section of the Alexa app. Okay, that's what I'll try to do. All right, so I'm doing that now. I have no idea what the Alexa skills challenge thing was. Uh, that's very cool that that exists. But let's uh, try to find skills all right skills and games i'm just looking at my phone sorry i can't show you this um oh your skills so there's a your skills section in the app um and it says nope um that's not even what I was thinking of. So apparently, if I search for, let me try one that I know works. Bullet train, no results. Japanese study tool. Nope, nothing. All right, there's a section called Andrews in the settings on the Alexa app. It says there's a Andrews Alexa apps. Um, nope, none of those. That's not what I'm looking for. All right, I have, I have no idea how bullet train works and Japanese study tool doesn't. So I'll have to take another look at this. Uh, give me a second. Actually, you know what? We might as well look on this, look at this together. And then I can just mark this video as one to be skipped. So, um, Oh, maybe that was it. All right, so let's try this again. Okay, great. So this worked, right? And it just said that there was a problem with the requested skills response. So that's great. It tried to post to uh, Alexa webhooks, but that didn't exist. And let's see here. So sorry, I'm not sure about that. Yep, I just said her name after unmuting the device. All right. So what we're gonna do is hop on to uh, GitHub.com. Here we go. 
So if we go on to branches, you'll see that there is a Alexa. Nope, then it's Twilio. All right, great. So two months ago since I've worked on this, um, let's see here. Actually, you know what? I wonder if this is going to be out of date. Um, I wonder if there's going to be merge conflicts here. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I can find out. Well, let's just try it. All right. So this, this, uh, this branch is probably really out of date now after two months. So And in fact, this, um, yeah, so this is really out of date. Let me, um, first of all, get remote rename origin to bullet train. That's how we normally do that. Um, and then I'm going to get, let me see where we are here. So we have a ton of stuff. I'm going to commit it. All right, great. So that's all the stuff that we've done up until this point. I'm going to create a new branch called upgrading bullet train. And I'm going to merge in Ah, yeah, not origin. All right, so there are some conflicts, but I know how to resolve these ones. These are the standard conflicts, um, I think, that come up when uh, with this particular upgrade of, let's see here. Um, What are we doing here? So merging or uh, resolving this conflict. Ooh. Huh. Oh, that's great, actually. That's, um, Let's go ahead and keep that. That's funny. That's actually something I updated in the development branch. All right, the schema should be pretty straightforward to update. So you always just go with the newer of the two and then look for the next. So we want all of these. Yep, we want all of the things, so that's good. And then what other ones do we have here? Conflict in gem file. Okay. Apparently, we actually, oh, so actually it was even easier than I thought. Um, all right, so in order to get the gem file.lock recreated, we do a bundle install and it spits out this little command for getting rid of the things. And then you do the bundle install and it will recreate your gem file.lock for you without the conflict in it. So let's do that. No idea what OJ is. A dependency apparently. All right, so yeah, and you can see that it, it is called the Twilio integration, but it was actually the Alexa integration as well. Uh, and that was because I wanted to pick a voice channel plus a text channel 
so that the abstraction I created was actually good for both of those mediums because they're um, quite the same, but also quite different. So, all right, let's do this. Um, double check our merge resolution. And then the commit message is already written for us. All right, rake db migrate. Very good. And let's see if the skill works now. All right, let's see what the error was this time. It's saying, um, oh, I have to restart the server. I have to restart the server because this file here has been updated to see if uh, Twilio is enabled, which it should be, but let's just make sure that that is the case. Yes, Twilio is enabled. All right. Yeah, there we go. So it's talking to me now. Now let me see if I can do this on the actual Alexa so that you guys can hear it as well. Alexa, ask Japanese study tool to have a conversation with me. So sorry. It looks like there is already an account with that email address or something else went wrong. What email address should we try to use to create your account? Never mind. <laughs> Great. Okay, it worked. So um, it appears, I mean, it didn't work, but like at least now we're interacting with the, the uh, system, right? So that so sorry message is something that, that Bullet Train actually spit out. Um, and that was because when I talked to it on the Alexa device, you didn't hear the first part of that conversation when uh, I the res there was a response that came through from the web console. And what it seems like happened was um, the Alexa device has the same de device ID. And so it just thought that what I was doing with the actual device in my bedroom is a continuation of the... Um, the conversation that we were already having. So uh, in the in the developer console or whatever. So anyway, um, that's that. I'm gonna uh, wrap up this video and then we'll we'll pick it up and start debugging. You know the um, the Alexa functionality in Bullet Train so that we can start building some features around that.